What is going on everybody? I am back today to talk about a film that came out this year. It was a relatively limited release film, but it was one that I've seen talked about online enough that it piqued my interest and I really hadn't even seen a trailer for this movie. I just saw the poster and read a little brief description, saw that it was a coming of age film, which if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know, coming of age stories are some of my favorite, especially when they're handled right. And I'm looking forward to discussing this film with you today. And the movie I'm going to be talking about today is Falcon Lake. Falcon Lake is directed by Charlotte Le Bon. A shy teenager on a summer vacation experiences the joy and pain of young adulthood when he forges an unlikely bond with an older girl. So I didn't really know what to expect when I went into this movie because I hadn't seen a trailer, just saw the poster, and I really enjoyed this movie. I feel like there's a lot of good about it and then there's some things I don't really like all that much about it and I'll talk a little bit more about it when I get into the review. So at the beginning of the film we are introduced to our lead character Bash who's a young 13, 14 year old boy who's going on vacation with his family. I believe his family is from France and they're vacationing in Canada outside the Quebec area, I'm pretty sure. They go out to this cabin to stay and there's other families that are staying around. And then we're introduced to a young girl named Chloe and Chloe and her mother are living out there as well. I believe Chloe's mother is really close to the family. And very early on you can tell Bastion takes an interest in Chloe. He's definitely attracted to her he's interested in her and she's older than him i think she's 16 and he's like 13 or 14 but early on we get a scene of him outside he's like drinking a soda and he's kind of watching her on this pier and she's kind of playful with him a little bit and you can't tell early on whether she's actually interested in him at all or if he's, she's just kind of toying with him because it's fun for her uh, and they're on summer vacation maybe they're just she's just wanting to be kind of playful and hang out with him and the entire film is exploring this young adolescent relationship and is it going to blossom into something is it just more of a casual thing are the two of them just there for each other in this very uncomfortable part of your life and the movie has kind of supernatural undertones at moments there's like almost like horror adjacent imagery that you see throughout the film but it's never heavy-handed it's always just kind of subtly implied and throughout the film we get that imagery amidst this young adult coming of age story and like I said I did really enjoy this movie and I think what really works about this film is capturing the idea of adolescence because adolescence is a really uncomfortable time for most people I know it was uncomfortable for me you guys can't see when I stand up but I am six foot eight I'm a very tall guy I've been very tall most of my life so in my teenage years between getting called giant and all these other different things when I was a kid. It's just really uncomfortable. You're trying to figure out who you are as a person. You're trying to understand your own identity and dealing with like weird growth spurts or, you know, all the hormones that are going through you at that time period is just really uncomfortable. And what I liked about the way Charlotte Le bon approached this material is you feel that unease. You feel that uncomfortable nature, especially when conversations about sex start to come up. And you can just tell, like at that age when you're a teenager and you're not completely 100 hundred percent uh, understanding about what sex is or how things work especially like when you were in my age group when I was growing up now I don't know how it is with the internet age but when I was growing up like you know sex was one of those things when you're your teen years uh, 13 14 like our lead character it's one of those like you're starting to understand things but you don't really fully understand it and so you're kind of uncomfortable when things come up you don't know whether to joke about it to feel serious about it and I think like showing a film through the eyes of that kid and kind of feel those uncomfortable moments that that's something that most people have dealt with in their lives and I think the director does such a good job of not even laying it on with dialogue but so much more through what the camera holds on and these little interactions with just like a touch or how a character looks at another person and that's most of the film that we get is just these subtle glances between characters and just the way that they talk to each other in short brief conversations and it's a very slice of life film it's not like there's this huge through line narrative it's just these people living on this lake for this period of time and understanding these this relationship that's building and that's the thing I loved about it and the young actors that are in this movie do a really great job with the material that they're given and I know some people said oh it's really uncomfortable and I'm like yeah that's the point when you're a teenager life is really uncomfortable and it's weird and it's uneasy and I think the director handles that really
really well. The big issue that I have with this film is the third act, and I'm not going to get into talking about it in detail because I think you should watch it to see if the third act works for you, but essentially, in short, in the third act, something happens that you will never expect, and it's either going to be something that you think is really impressive, or it's going to be something that you kind of scratch your head and say, why? What did that happen for? And I was in the latter on, in that, unfortunately. I didn't think that it added to what the director was going for and what the director was trying to say. I was really hopeful that it would kind of pack an emotional punch and whatever that Charlotte was going to do in that third act, that it was going to just attribute to this amazing character study that she had been doing for the first hour and a half of the movie. But unfortunately, it feels like a curveball that was a swing and a miss uh, for me, unfortunately. And that's solely because it doesn't tonally mix in with the rest of the film. There's little implications that something might happen through visual cues throughout the movie, but, but it doesn't ever give you enough to really make sense when it actually does happen. And there's things that I can imply from it and sitting around and thinking about it after it was over, there are moments that I'm like, okay, this makes sense in my mind, this makes sense in my mind, but was it really warranted? You could have ended it an entirely different way and it would have still felt the same. And that's really my biggest qualm with this movie is I just feel like the third act isn't justified with the first two acts that are so well done and I think the cinematography in this film is incredible it's so like ethereal and dreamlike you feel immediately sucked into this world it's shot in a boxy aspect ratio which I actually think works well for this material and I really loved the characters and thought that they did a really good job building up this very simplistic story but if you're going to give me a curveball ending have it attach on to the meaning of the film and kind of expand on those ideas and make them resonate with you for a longer period of time instead of just leaving me scratching my head saying what was that decision for and I know in reading some letterbox reviews it definitely worked for some people I was just not one of those people that the ending worked for but I, I still 100% believe that this film is worth checking out and you giving your opinion on it and, and figuring out if that third act works for you and I would definitely revisit this movie because I think there's so much about it that works really well and there's so much much about it that we all can relate to and I think it's worth checking out for those reasons alone. So have you seen Falcon Lake? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was really good up until the last 10 minutes and I really was not a fan of the way the movie ended. I didn't feel like the ending was justified but as I said I feel like there's enough to grab a hold on to in this movie that it is 100% worth you checking out. As always if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material I look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.